Good morning. As you can see, I'm actually just finishing packing up my stuff and waiting for my friend. He's going to now uh, take me in the car up to Alati, where I'm then going to go and get that coach or bus um, to take me up to the national park. Last couple of nights here has been absolutely awesome. Um, massively appreciate uh, my friend offering me, offering me the opportunity to stay here, especially with the uh, the outhouse and stuff. That's been uh, it's been really useful. Been nice to have a nice warm shower and everything. So, like I say, just going to finish packing up the last bits and uh, and head on out of here to the next adventure, canoeing on the big lakes. Just been dropped off by my mate at Latti. Time to go find which bus to get on to take me up to the lakes so I can find my canoe. Just got the bus up from Lati to Poyoski and now I've just got to walk maybe two miles or two kilometers sorry down the road into town and hopefully find somewhere to pick up a canoe to get out into the lake and find somewhere to camp by tonight before it gets dark so I best get a move on might try the penny board out for the first time and hopefully not fall off and break a leg Wow, it's all gone a bit mental. The guy said to me when I was hiring the canoe, there wouldn't be a thunderstorm until about midnight and that I'd easily make it in time. It'd only take me an hour or something to get to the campsite. Well, it turns out an hour later, the heavens have just opened and I've had to pull onto a random island. As you can tell behind me, there's not a lot of room for camping. But I believe if I just spin around, I believe that's the island I need to get to. However, I am not crossing that open water whilst it's raining. So I might have to venture onto this island a little, see if I can find any flat spots. If not, I think it'll have to be throw up the ha hammock, throw up the tarp and just wait the storm out here because apparently it's meant to be in for a while um, until the early hours. So I'll have a, I'm gonna have a look around hopefully set up some it before this storm really pulls in. I must Let's admit this is far from ideal but it's going to keep me out the rain and out the storm and luckily there's enough big trees around me so hopefully I'm not, not the first thing that the lightning wants to hit. Lightning is definitely getting closer. I think it was about two or three seconds last time. The rain seems to have eased off strangely. I've actually just had a, guy, a a text message from the gentleman that lent me the lent me the canoe. That said, please make sure you're out of the water. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, sorry. He said, please make sure you're out of the water and don't get caught out in the storm. So, luckily, I'd already made that decision because I'm not not that stupid. So I'm just going to go and grab the rest of my stuff now. I'm not going to bring it all up. I'm going to leave the canoe down here, um, the kayak, sorry, down here, and uh, just bring up the essentials. I don't think I'm going to be fishing tonight, which was what I planned to eat. So I'm, uh, I'm going to get pretty hungry, I reckon. But, you know, hungry and alive is better than full and dead. So, well, we're in. Bed's out. Just gotta put the sleeping bag out when I'm ready to go to bed. Got me food, got some tortilla chips, some trail mix, and some jelly be jelly beans. Just gonna chill out. Not much else I can do really, I guess. I think I'm just gonna make up my bed, get into it, and uh, have an I was planning to have an earlier night anyway slightly more earlier than I'd expected but it's all good I'm safe I'm dry which is what matters it made me this made me realize why it's so important to make sure your kit setup is is spot on and you know exactly how to set it up in the quickest quickest way possible because when this started I was just like I'm so glad I know what I'm doing otherwise it could have been a lot worse um, so yeah I just I'd say that's probably 
probably a good thing to point out. Just make sure your kit's set up so you know where it is. You can pull it out, and like all my guy, all my lines are already attached. They're all folded up. I can just pull them out straight on. Everything's up in seconds, rather than fannying around and wondering where all your stuff's at. So, like I say, I'm just gonna eat some food and probably go to bed. So, unless anything crazy happens, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. Slept like an absolute log last night. Really good night's sleep. Just gonna get up slow time, pack all my stuff up, and get out on the water. Don't really plan to do much paddling today. I just want to go and explore a couple of the little islands and then go over to that main island that I was meant to be on last night and uh, yeah, just go have a play around on there. Maybe, hopefully, might be able to sleep in one of those like bothy log cabin things tonight, which would be pretty cool. It means I can get my tarp to dry out a bit because it's soaked. Let's pack up and uh, get on with it then. Right, I'm all packed up. Kayak's ready to go. Just got to put the last few bits and pieces in. And then I'm going to head off probably over to that island over there. Might paddle one way for a bit, back down. And I believe the campsite, campsite's over, that, over there somewhere. I forgot to mention earlier that I was originally meant to be doing this trip for about six or seven days. Um, however, when I was speaking to the guy at the canoe shop um, yesterday, he informed me that after Tuesday, the weather is meant to get worse and the wind's meant to be picking up to over 35 kilometers an hour. So I made the decision that I'm going to take the canoe back, or sorry, kayak back on, um, on Tuesday and then head back down to Helsinki Tuesday afternoon on a coach. Just as I say that, the heavens open. I thought it was meant to be dry today. Right, I'm going to get some waterproofs on and get paddling. Change of plan. I'm heading back to that camp. I went up, had a look at it, and decided that I was actually going to go further afield. But this front's coming in, and I don't really don't want to get stuck out in it. So let's get back. Shot caught out in the rain, but luckily I found this place um, just to, pretty much just in time. A bit wet now, moving uh, moving some of my stuff in. But this is pretty awesome. This is like the shelter area, and if I turn around, there's a fire pit down there. And that shelter over there is actually full of uh, full of dry wood. So, and there's a big axe, and a big saw there, so you can chop it up and obviously make a fire. Um, I've got no plans to make a fire yet. I probably will tonight, later on. But I might, being as I'm already wet, I might take a dip in the water. Could do with a bit of a wash, and um, and then maybe cast a line out if it's not if it doesn't start thundering and lightning. But. Could have definitely picked a better time to come and do this trip. Weather so far has been appalling, but it is what it is, and uh, it's all good fun. That was good fun, if not a little cold, but I definitely feel a f fresher now. The sun's started to come out now a bit, so I've just gone and got the fishing gear. Just tied on this little jig head. We're going to go see if I can catch some perch or maybe a pike. Looks like that me weather's moving back in, so unfortunately I haven't caught any more any fish. But I'm gonna make my way back before I get caught out in another massive storm. Managed to make it back to camp before the rains properly started. Just gonna quickly process up some firewood, um, and then I can take it up to the little cabin, so I haven't got to walk up and down here if it starts hammering it down again. Just got the fire lit as you can tell, uh, purely from the fact of quite fancy a brew. I haven't got any tea or coffee with me, but there's plenty of pine needles about, so I'll have a pine needle tea. And then, yeah, just gonna chill out and read my book. 
I've basically just been chilling out for the last hour or so. Um, the rain started again, and then it stopped again, then it started again, then it stopped again. So I've just been chilling out in here, um, planning a bit, bit more of my travels, and uh, doing a bit of video editing as well. Um, I'm now just going to pretty much just chill out. Probably if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. So I'm just going to say, I'll see you guys in the morning now, so that if anything, unless anything exciting happens, and I end up waking up. Like I say, I'll see you guys in the morning.